Hello, and I'm going to talk today. I'm going to talk about Ninja Ghost City Gardens. I'm very excited for this set. I've been waiting for this set for a very, very short time because actually I bought the other two second hand. So actually, I'm quite lucky in that way because I actually have only just finished building the other two. So it's quite a good timing for me that they're doing a third one. So I'm quite happy about that. Anyway, I'm glad to see this new one it looks amazing and it connects to the other two which is even better still and it's got the nice street level with the fencing going across and the signs attached the same which is great so it all looks sleek and flush when put next to the other two. It's a very big set, it's the biggest Ninja Go set they've done so far and I believe it's the fourth or fifth biggest lego set of all time it has 5685 pieces in total it is listed to come with 20 minifigures although if you ask me woo's dog that is listed as a minifigure isn't really a minifigure i mean it's just an animal accessory as far as i'm concerned but it's still awesome to get that as a build uh, well not a build it's not a build it's actually one piece but hey it's great to get it and I was hoping, I was really hoping that in the set we'd get an animal other than just a fish or a frog that we've been getting in the other two. So it's nice to have a change to actually get some of our animal to include amongst the sea. The colours of this set are amazing. It's got even more colours than the other two sets. It even includes purple this time around, which the other ones didn't have, which is just amazing. And it's got loads of great teal elements, especially on the top of the tower, which is done in a crisscross shape. Those particular till pieces, I can see people going rushing to bricks and pieces to get those, to try and get those to use for mocks and things, because they'll be really, really useful for that. Also, if you notice, there's quite a few new colours for certain pieces. Like if you look at one of the bits, there's a um, gold piece for the leaf, for a leaf piece that's been done now in gold and it looks really, really good. And that would also be another great bit to use for mocks if you wanted to go and search on bricks and pieces and get those gold elements. It'd be really useful. And it's just put on a dish piece underneath and that looks really, really good. Also, as you can see, it uses some of the same sort of building techniques as the as the original city set does. And it's obviously more similar to the original city than the docks, which I'm quite pleased about because I personally think the city is quite a bit better than the docks, partly because of the height and also because it's just got more colours and it's more detailed. But both of them are brilliant sets and I recommend both of them to anyone who wants to buy them. One of the building techniques that you can see that's used the same as on the original city is how they've put window pieces on snot bricks going sideways and you can see this is used in some of the windows that appear to be using till window frames which is awesome which is also used for door frame pieces on another part of the build which is the same as they used on the city for the front portion of what's in front of the elevator they used they used the side window builds for that and that looked really good but that was only in plain white so in teal it looks even more amazing on the top of the set it is so detailed as well it's that's got a lot of the main garden portion what the set is named after as you can see there's a cherry blossom on the top which looks more like a full intended cherry blossom tree rather than the one that's coming out the side of the building on the original city which is pretty cool and it's got like an archway that looks like some sort of weird greenhouse build which is pretty cool and then obviously the purple building on the left of it is a little indoor garden area which is also cool and also feels like a could be a greenhouse too looking further across you can see that there's actually a couple of little cool little things that you might not notice from afar on the top portion of the building one of them is there's a little bike that's actually been attached with a transparent tube piece to the side of the building and it's a bike and it is a bike it looks like a motorbike piece maybe a moped or something and it's got a one of the minifigures on it who's actually holding a jewel so they've obviously robbed the museum part which is the which is the large yellow building in the center of the set they've obviously robbed the jewel from that museum and the bike doesn't have wheels which means it's obviously 
a hover bike which makes sense because it's up in the air up near the roof so that's pretty cool and it's cool to get that that piece in that color and to use that and it's it makes a nice change and to have something attached to the building that's not that's like meant to look like it's not actually attached but it's just flying around which is pretty cool and then on the right side of the building you also have a fish build which is pretty awesome as well and it reminds me of like a poly bag a creative poly bag build that you would get for something like how they've done it with other ones in the past like they did with the pug or the cats or whatever they've done it it looks it looks similar to that and it's basically i'm not sure if it's a clownfish or if it's a koi fish but it's one of the two i think it might be a koi fish but then the face detail makes me think it might be a clownfish but either way it looks great and it's attached to the building similar to how they attached an octopus to the side of the building well or squid i should say on the original city I think that the tower part of this set is one of the best bits of the set because it just so stands out and it's so colourful. It's just completely the opposite to how I feel about the original city, which had that sand green tower. I mean, I like sand green as a colour, it looks great, but I feel like that was still one of the weakest parts of the set because it just it just um, felt quite dull and quite an obscure build compared to the rest of the set on the original whereas on this one it feels like it's really does add a lot to the set and the fact that it's got a hidden room and we don't even know what that hidden room is yet makes me feel very interested to find out what that is and I think it will be maybe some reference to Borg Tower which was in the show because there's like a ninja control room in it which is similar to the one we saw in Borg Tower the only thing that doesn't make sense is there's no Cypress Borg minifigure in a wheelchair which would have been pretty cool to get because obviously he's a great minifigure and to get a wheelchair build in a Ninja Ghost set would also be great. But there's still lots of other great minifigures in this set including the fact that we get urban versions of some of the ninja which is quite good. I mean we did get a few of those in the docks but these ones are probably even better in some ways. And we get a lot of civilians which some people might not like but I actually quite think that's quite a good thing because because it means that you've got quite a lot of minifigures you can just scatter anywhere you like around the around the build rather than having to put them in specific buildings or shops or whatever and feel like that they'd be out of place you can just put them wherever you want and that's quite a good thing I think in the center of the set there's a massive tree and this just looks great too I mean I don't know if I would have preferred it if it was cherry blossom like the one on top but then I don't know it's quite nice to have a contrast between the cherry blossom tree on the top and the green of this one it looks like it's actually holding the structure up of the building which I think is pretty cool because it really does emphasize that old town feel of the ground level I'm not really sure if the tree is meant to be going right through the plates of the second floor or if it's supposed to be a separate build that you put on top of the next level i think personally that it must be going right through and i think that's pretty cool maybe you have to build like a hole in the top of the street level so they can go through i think that would work really well and i think that would be fun to build and it would just make it feel so much more like a garden set which is obviously great because that's what it's called I'm not really sure how big this set is, if it's a 32x32, 32 32, if it's a 32x48, 32 or some people think it might even be a 32x42 32 in between, which tells me that it would have to not be on a plate, on a normal base plate to do that, which makes me think either they've designed a new base plate size for this set, which would be pretty cool because that would be useful for lots of other things and would be awesome, but that's not that likely. The more likely thing is that they've just had part of the set hanging over the base plate that's brick built to make it wider in studs but there's still a good chance it's one of the two standard sizes and it's just hard to tell from the picture i personally would prefer if it was the 32 by 32 because obviously that gives me more space on the, each side of it for other sets that i feel are similar in design that i can put next to it because obviously if you've got limited space you want to have that space for other things but if it's on a 32x48 that would still be pretty cool because obviously you get more bricks to display and more to look at but it would also limit where you can put it and it would make it seem a bit more unusual the fact that it's a corner build because obviously one side of the building would be longer than the other not that that's always a bad thing because obviously not everything has to be symmetrical but it would it would be a, it would be surprising 
but I feel like if there is any part of this that hangs over, then it would be the pit with the pagoda, which is on the left side of the building. That could be the bit that's longer. And I'm wondering if it, if it is a separate plate, which is the real question, if that bit is a whole separate plate, then can it be removed so you could put it either side of the set? Because that would be good if you could, if that is the case. I like the colours for the pagoda build, it's in the red, but the fact that the bottom portion of it is also in red makes me think it seems a bit odd because the rest of the street of the, sorry, not the street level, the the old town level of the city set, the dock set and the rest of this set is all in the sort of brown and white and dark tan colours and even a bit of light tan and even slightly amounts of grey. So having that amount of red on the ground level seems a bit odd when attached to the other two sets but that being said i feel like perhaps it makes sense because it's described as a separate island part but if it is a separate island part then why does it look like on the build that the fencing part of the street level curves right round the back it looks like it has a corner that goes round the back as well if you look at the very corner of the left side of the picture and then it looks like it goes all the way around which doesn't make sense if it's supposed to have the island bit separate but i don't know i don't really know but i'm sure it'll be amazing either way we don't know yet lots of other things about this set though we still don't know if you get a boat in this set like you do in the other two which i really hope we do hopefully around the back of the set we'll see one also logs built built up which the other two had at the back of the set was also a great thing and was quite enjoyable to build i hope this one includes that as well because that would be great and then we also don't know if there's a play feature in this set like the other two had because obviously the first set had an atm machine that dispensed cash and then the docks had the vending machine that dispensed cans and both of them had great working features that were just so easy to use and so enjoyable to look at so i hope this one has at least some feature on like the other two did as for the roofs and how the different levels attach well we know it's a modular building so it's going to attach in modular style but i hope that it doesn't have the very top roof bits just sitting on like the docks did because that was a bit annoying for when moving the set that the fact that they did that was on the original city all the levels were attached with jumper plates and i think because this one is more like the sea i think that it will all be attached properly this time and i personally think that that makes it a lot more stable as a set and it just makes it much more solid and it makes it feel more like high quality as well some people feel like this set is a bit too hollow because if you look at the center it's got a lot of gap but i feel like that works really well for the garden style because it makes it feel like that it's like nature like nature is like tearing the building in apart but at the same time also it's what's holding it together it feels like it's a great balance between plant-based builds and buildings and it just makes it look so it makes it look so natural and the fact that it's got a bench at the bottom of the tree part is really great as well because it feels like you can imagine just sitting there when you've just come out of the city and this nice contrast to all the busyness of the rest of the build and i don't feel like it needs to to be completely closed in the gap i feel like a bit of hollowness can sometimes be good because that also means that you can see through the set to the back and the sets as we know so far with the city sets actually are really detailed at the back too so you can actually see through it and see any of the details at the back like the water through the back of the set and that, and if there's a boat as well like the other two at the back then you'd be able to see that through the hollowness of the set which would be great and also that means that if someone wanted to put another set behind it say in the form of a city or on a shelf they could because you'll be able to see part of the set through the back of the other build which would be awesome i'm so glad that they included the buildings that they've chose to include in this as well the tower bit like i said isn't actually borg tower but the fact that it's so similar in what shape it is and then crisscrossy elements for the windows and the fact that it's got a control tower and everything makes me feel like it's close enough but with more color because the actual bog tower is mostly black which wouldn't have stood out as well and looked as appealing as the teal and the pink the pink the transparent pink looks amazing so i think it was a worth worth not having an exact bog tower in, to get more color in this set 
but most of all I'm happy that we get Chen's noodle house in this set that's just amazing I know the build for Chen on the on the billboard is just a minifigure it's not actually a sign which would have been nice to have got like a bigger scale build for him rather than a minifigure scale because it seems a bit strange having a minifigures walking around the city and then the sign is the same size as them when in the TV show if you've watched it the sign is massive compared to the minifigures I didn't think we'd actually get Chen's Noodle House, but I really wanted to, but not only because I love noodles, but because it's just a great building and it looks amazing on the inside and the out. It's not exactly the same as in the show, but because it's put into the city in such a big scale, I think they've done really well with what they could have with this design. They also have included the museum, which is also amazing because I thought that they wouldn't do that because I just thought that it would be too big for something on such a small scale. But they have made it the center build of this set and it really does stand out and it does look great. And also that it shows in the pictures that it includes artifacts inside the building. It even looks like it's got references to Destiny's Bounty because it's got a little build for it, which is amazing as well. It's another thing that I was really hoping that they would do, but I really didn't expect them to include, so they have. There's a nice cream shop as well, which is amazing. I don't know as much about that in terms of the set stuff and where it comes into play, but I still think an ice cream shop is always good to have. And the fact they've got a counter where you can serve the ice cream is amazing. It's like on the cinema, Palace Cinema set, where they've got a counter with a, with a glass window where you can put money through. And that's always good to have. That's, that looks great. There's there's a um, Ninja fans apartment as well, which looks really good. You can't see much of that based on the pictures, but it looks like the bed that they that they've got in this set is made out of vinyl pieces, which is quite unusual. I haven't seen them do that before, but in a set where they've done bed covers in vinyl. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. It's pretty cool though, anyway. And I like to see how they do that when I build the set. I don't know if there's any other buildings around the back of the set that we don't know about yet, but it'll be interesting to see that when we got more images. And the fact that the set is coming out only in a few days time tells me we'll probably get some more solid effective images very soon, and that'll be great to see. And then I can give more information on what I think about this set. The minifigure selection, like I said, is quite good. The only thing I think is, like I said, that they should have included Cypress Ball, but I would have also liked some other exclusive figures that would have been maybe slightly different versions of ones we've got before, like one of Skylar, perhaps without her face removed in the way that we've seen in the show, or perhaps we should have got, I don't know, we could have got a different version of Wu as well, maybe a young Wu or something, or maybe, maybe um, Garmadon as Sensei Garmadon, that would have been pretty good as well. But most of all, I kind of wish that we had Halloumi as well. Sorry, that's what I meant. I meant Halloumi's face removed, not Skylar. Skylar, though, would have would have um, been good for the um, Chen's Noodle House since she works there. But yeah, Halloumi with her face face unremoved where she first met Lloyd in the show, that would have been good to have seen. Because I think that it's a great design for that minifigure and it would have been a great one to have. This set is on water again like the other two sets were. It's done on 1x2 transparent turquoise plates, which is also a great thing to always build and it's one of the best bits of the other two sets and it's really enjoyable to put together. And I'm guessing this one's going to have even more because it's a gardens. Although I could be wrong because the docks obviously is based around water, but it's still going to have a lot of those plates. We're pretty sure about that. So that's something to look forward to doing anyway. I hope in this set that we get more prints rather than stickers because that was the weakest thing about the other two sets. It was not the builds themselves but it was the fact that we got so many stickers because although the stickers were great and had loads of detail including the Ninja Go language written, I feel like that playing loads and loads of stickers is still one of the worst things about LEGO because stickers can easily peel off and then you've lost that sticker so you've either got to print off your own custom ones to replace it or you've got to go out your way to scavenge ebay looking for people selling stickers the price of this set is pretty reasonable for the piece count i mean it's very expensive but when you compare it to other sets like hogwarts castle which are 
roughly between 50 and 80 pounds dearer than this which only have about 350 to 400 pieces more you think you're actually getting quite a good deal i know that has a licensed fee but it still feel makes this seem more reasonable that's the last thing i have to say on this set i hope you've enjoyed hearing about it and leave your thoughts in the comments if you wish and feel free to to like and subscribe oh one last thing i was gonna say that actually i'm shocked that the release date is so early because it's coming out on the 14th of january for vips and on the 1st of february for everyone else which is weird because we saw a catalog before that someone uploaded that's from germany that showed that it wouldn't be coming out until may Maybe that's just for Germany, or maybe they got it wrong, or maybe they've changed their mind. But either way, it's great news for getting it so early. Anyway, thank you. Goodbye.